Hello guys. I'm fucking here with you. Okay, reviewing another beer from Sweden, said to me by the wonderful Johan. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is from the Duke's Brewery, which I reviewed a beer from them in a previous beer mail that Johan sent me, which was Gustav's Finger. Um, this is Idjit, and it's an Imperial Stout. And he did tell me on my bit of paper that he's put on here just uh, Duke's Idjit is a super bitter Imperial Stout. So I'm quite looking forward to it because I do like bitter, bitter stouts. Um, ABV 9.5%. So let's give it a go. I do like their labels, they're quite sort of retro y, almost like sort of Andy Warhols, this sort of stuff all stuck on, or maybe like a Monty Python. Um, Seen. <laughs> right, okay. So let's get this board. Okay, usual glug 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 of stout. And there you have it in the glass. Uh, pitch black, you know, you know how an Imperial stout's gonna look. You don't really need me to show you. But it's a nice dark chocolate looking head. Looking lovely. I'm looking forward to this one, so let's give it a nose. Wow, that's big. That's like um, a mixture of earthiness and caramel. Hmm. You're getting the coffee notes, but they're really, really subdued. What you're mostly getting is, like I said, that caramel and earthiness, which is mixing together to make a really sort of strange aroma, which I've never smelt in a stout before. Almost a slight vegetable smell as well. Tiny bit of smoke. Even a bit of um, plum or something like that, like a really dark sort of fruit. And a bit of coconut. This is really strange. Bit of vanilla. Right, let's go for it. Yoen, thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Mmm, it's quite smooth. It's not as bitter as I thought it was going to be. Um, Mmm. Oh, it's really strange. I can't really sort of pinpoint a flavour on this one. It doesn't taste like any Imperial stuff I've ever tasted. Um, this is going to sound really strange. It's, it tastes like a combination of really earthy hops um, bit of chocolate but then you're getting almost like a dry in Vimto <laughs> flavour coming through I don't know if you guys in the States or, or anywhere else gets Vimto but it's almost like a oh, how could you describe it it's like a mixed berry drink um, slightly fruity um, but it's like they've combined some sort of sweet dark berries um, which which seem to be overriding any roasting. There is a slight bit of roasting going on, but not a lot. It's really, really pleasant to drink, really smooth. You're getting a mild bit of carbonation, but the, the, the initial hit you're getting on your tongue is dark fruits and a bit of earthy coffee bitterness, which does tend to fade, and you do get a nice dry bitterness at the end, but Nothing sort of major or over the top. Well, not for me anyway, but but it's all really, really drinkable. It's a light body as well. And it's, you know, 9.5%, very dangerous, but very, very, very enjoyable. Um, it's a very unique flavor. You definitely recognize this if you just drink it again. But yeah, it's good. I really like it. Hmm. Rating wise, I'm only going to give it an 8 because 
although it's unique and although it's got a nice little bitterness at the end it's it's, it's not ballsy enough for me um, you know I like to be sort of hip when it's an imperial style you expect imperial flavours and um, and this tastes like a slightly strong stout um, which is still really really good because it's well crafted anyway chatting away guys thanks for watching Johan thank you very much and I'll see you guys again soon cheers